products of combustion. One is heat. We're, the whole point is that we're trying to make heat. We want most of our heat to go into the building or the process that we're heating. The less that goes up the stack, the more that goes into our process and our appliance becomes more efficient. Uh, carbon monoxide is a product of combustion and it's colors, colorless and odorless and it kills people. So it displaces the oxygen and that's how we can suffocate. We have nitrogen oxide or NOx and sulfur dioxide. So these are products of combustion. Uh, the useful one is heat. The other ones are not so useful, but we still have to deal with them. Water vapor. We showed the, the, the reaction and water vapor is a big component of natural gas. So um, moist heat in that, that water we have to talk about because it's important. I always trip over this microphone. <laughs> okay. Um, some condensation is very normal. If you've started your car on a cool morning, you'll see a, a, a condensation plume coming out your exhaust pipe. The reason for that is because the flue gases are being cooled below the dew point. Once your exhaust system heats up, generally that plume disappears. Unless you're in Minnesota or Wisconsin, it stays so cold there you can still see it because the exhaust system doesn't heat up. Anyway, um, that's, the, that's a similar concept with gas fire appliances. When you first start an appliance on a cold stack, it's probably going to condense some of that moisture out of the flue products and you'll have to deal with it. You'll see it in, it's called wet time. There's a, uh, it, it's actually designed into the process. Uh, once the stack heats up, your draft increases and your flue products exit without being cooled and that moisture is entrained with the flue gas that leaves your exhaust stack. Similar with your car. Once it heats up, you rarely see the moisture and it condenses somewhere else except inside the, somewhere else rather than inside the exhaust pipe. Uh, oh, by the way, I've tried to condense this presentation into an hour. I've got it down to three and a half. I hope you're not busy this afternoon. 